Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can download and install the Click Web Connectors. So Click Web Connectors are very helpful in getting the web related data as the name suggests Click Web Connectors. It connects from to the web sources of things like Facebook or Twitter sites or even your Google spreadsheets. Most of the time we have seen that uh, we do not have a direct interface uh, from ClickView where we can you know get information for about multiple files in a straightforward way. Though I sh shared a video on how you can get it the Google Spreadsheets data but that is just limited to one site or one sheet. So apart from that if you want to really open up uh, your domain of analysis by looking at the web related data this is really helpful and you should try get it. So this this is basically a licensed uh, you know uh, connector so you need to have a license or you have to be a customer of click to really get this but how you can get it is basically by going into the products and then click connectors when you go into the click connectors it will show the options the different types of connectors that is available so here if i go down you have uh, SAP related connector, Salesforce connector and Click Web connectors. It was previously called, called as uh, QV source and has been rebranded as Click Web connectors. So those who are aware of QV source, the Click Web connectors is pretty much the same thing. The link is given over here, is, uh, get it now. Once you click it over here, it will give you the login screen, I believe, uh, where you need to log in and then go ahead and download it. So in just probably a couple of seconds it will show. All right, like this, you will get a logged in screen. And then based after you log in, you can download it. Since I have already downloaded it, I don't need to go ahead and download it again. As you can see, I have downloaded the version 2.2.0, which you can um, unzip it into the main or the root drive like C. Uh, in general case in Windows system, so let me go to my C drive and uh, open it uh, the click web connectors for you and here I have the unzipped file of click web connectors where I just need to double click over here to start the click web connectors. Apart from this uh, what you need to do in is you need to start a service within your services area from your control panel and you will find that uh, there is a service on the click web connectors that you need to start. All right. Once it is started, uh, if I double click over here, it will right now give me a message that click uh, the service is already running and I'm trying to run it again. And I need to go into this link to HTTP colon slash to forward slash and then local has to colon 5555 forward slash web. And then I can see my connectors. All right, let's go to this local host and try to see it. So HTTP colon slash slash local host colon five 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 forward slash web. And you can see that I have now the web connectors. So these are all premium web connectors and you need to enable the license to basically connect or access the premium connectors. Apart from that, there are standard, which I think is enabled in my license. If I click over here, for example, Google Calendar, uh, Spreadsheets, Click Mailbox, Cloud, and all of those things. Apart from this, you get a beta version, you get a deprecated, uh, what they have. So it's kind of a MailChimp connector they have deprecated. So this is how you know you can go ahead and really view the information about your your connectors and get access to the to the web data so generally when you will first access this you will not get this screen directly uh, where you are uh, you are able to see all these different connectors but uh, what you will first see is a page that will ask you to accept the term and condition. So that's like any uh, after any software installation or during any software installation, you get to accept the terms and conditions. So you need to accept that and after that you will see this page. So this is the idea I wanted to give you about uh, how you can download and unzip the file into your root directory, which is C. 
and then double click on the click web connector.exe file and go start the service and come to this localhost colon 5555 forward slash web to access your connectors and in the next video i will talk about how you can connect to the google spreadsheets here in this case uh, to access the multiple google spreadsheets uh, from your uh, from your web connectors all right so stay tuned for that and i'll meet you in the new video with that topic.